Rob, Julie, Patty Pansing Brooks' announcement today comes as no surprise to political experts. They say many factors will come into play for this election. We have so much that we can give here in Nebraska. State Senator Patty Pansing Brooks officially kicks off her campaign for Nebraska's first congressional district. We need health care for all, access to affordable child care, living wages. The Democrat says she's the bipartisan leader Nebraska needs in Washington. She adds her record in the unicameral proves it. The legislature has passed 56 bills that I introduced. She takes on incumbent Republican Jeff Fortenberry, who's held the seat since 2005. His team sending a statement Monday, quote, Jeff Fortenberry has faithfully and effectively served Nebraska and America in Congress and will ask the voters to reelect him in 2022 to continue that work. The contrast will be very clear. Patty Pansing Brooks will faithfully advance Joe Biden's agenda and have to explain a chaotic economy, overrun border, and dangerous foreign policy, end quote. Political science professor Rick Whitmer says the race will be one to watch. You've got an incumbent who is in a fairly safe district. Um, had a bit of a challenge last time, but... Scandal seems to be a way to bring out challengers. Whitmer says Fortenberry's federal indictment could mean trouble for him, along with the state's redistricting. Even for safe incumbents, their um, vote totals may drop just a little bit because some of their voters don't know who they are. Whitmer says Democrats will also face an uphill battle, common when one party's in power. But he adds right now, it's too early to call. You know, if everything's cleared up by then, he should have fairly smooth sailing. If he's still embroiled in it in some way, um, I think folks are going to know that when it comes time to vote, and that's going to have an effect. Now, Fortenberry and his team have repeatedly said the charges against him are unfounded. Right now, just the two have announced a bid for Nebraska's first district seat. Of note, the race between Fortenberry and Kate Bowles in 2020 was decided by just around 70,000 votes, closer than most of Fortenberry's other races. Back to you. Okay, thanks, Sarah.